You will probably leave the hospital two to three days after your operation. However, sometimes you may need to stay a little longer. So slightly down and your feet slightly spaced. That's it, brilliant. So then you can lift your bottom up again. Before you leave the hospital, the physiotherapist will go over the exercises you've learnt to regain mobility and strengthen your new hip. It is essential to keep practising these exercises at home every day. You will have a series of weekly goals that are set by the hospital. These goals are designed to assist your recovery and provide a safe and gradual return to everyday activities. Go again with that one, but try and keep your face up. Okay. The physiotherapist will also make sure you're using your crutches or walking frame correctly and safely. An x-ray and you're on your way back home. The other thing that's important to just check the leg lengths because patients often wonder about that. To get you anything. Okay. On discharge, the nurses will give you all the appropriate medication, a letter for your GP, a sickness certificate if needed, and a joint replacement card. This card should be carried with you at all times. Um, this is your joint replacement card. Okay. Anyone who has the surgery gets one of these. Just if you ever need to have any other um, surgery or certain dental treatments, they might like you to have a course of antibiotics. <laughs> Two weeks after your discharge, you'll have a follow-up appointment at the hip clinic. Then at six weeks, you'll be asked to come in again. If there are any problems, you may be seen earlier. During these sessions, your hip movement and strength will be assessed, helping you on the road to full recovery. You may also have appointments at six months, one year and two years to allow your progress to be monitored. The ongoing care is different because each patient is an individual and we want to get them back to their normal activities as soon as possible, so we tailor their care to themselves. What you need to be is stable. When you're at home, it is essential that you follow the advice you've been given in order to speed up your recovery process. And reach down in and bring your, your item up. Make sure you have friends and family in place that can transport you, shop, clean and even cook for you. And then shuffle your bottom backwards. If you live alone, one of our occupational therapists will help you arrange your home circumstances for after surgery. And if there's any problems, we can talk about them. Thank you very much. That'll be good. Here's a list of important do's and don'ts that will help your progress for the first six weeks after your operation. Do continue to take pain medication if needed. Do the exercises as instructed by your physiotherapist. Do try and take regular walks. Do keep your wound clean and dry, but you may shower if it's covered. Do take a rest on your bed for at least an hour a day. Do rest on your bed for short periods with your feet above horizontal. Do use a pillow between your legs when you are asleep for the first six weeks. You may lie on your operated side after two weeks, but never on your non-operated side. Do contact your GP or the rapid recovery team if there are any problems with the wound or if you have an increased pain in your calf associated with swelling. Do avoid bending or twisting either when sitting or standing. Use your grabber to pick things off the floor. Don't twist, swivel or pivot your operated leg. Don't sit for long. You may become stiff and find it difficult getting up and going again. Don't drive unless you have been seen and assessed in the hip clinic. 
don't cross your legs. Don't walk without using your walking aids until advised. Don't stand still for too long. Don't overdo it. After the operation, it's been incredible. I can't believe how good it's been. I never expected the recovery to be this quick.